Today's the day, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit anxious. It's been a long time since we've been back to any kind of normal. And today, we open up the zoo. It's gonna be awesome, but definitely a little bit nervous about it. But regardless, today is the day. And here we are, guys. I mean, we are ready. We're gonna get going. We still have a lot of things to do. You gotta remember, the last 10 weeks, we've kind of been in a holding pattern. We haven't had to, uh, you know, make things look like they are when they're open. We didn't uh, fit all the little finishing touches. We're kind of like, they weren't necessary. Now we're trying to do all those finishing touches. We have a ton of work to do today. Uh, the whole crew's excited. Like I mentioned, I'm nervous. I never expected in a million years that this was gonna go on for almost three months where we were gonna be closed. And it's not going back to normal. Normal, normal. Today, you're gonna see what it is like, the uh, the new start to the normal. But I really, truly believe that in time here, we're gonna be really back to normal. But we're gonna take what we can get today, uh, take you along on the journey. Again, like I had mentioned, I'm anxious, I'm a little nervous. It almost feels like the same feeling I had when we had our grand opening. Uh, even though this is completely different, right? It's the grand reopening in a way, but only to a limited number of people. So regardless, we're just gonna get everything together, make the place look awesome, and, uh, and I'm gonna try Try to shed this anxiety and uh, get into living in the moment and try to realize that this has been the day I've been dreaming about for almost three months. This is actually a hat for albino, a nice big hat for albino girl. Bred to an albino, whoa, geez, she almost bit me right through the paper. She's a feisty little monkey. It's okay, mama, it's all right, you're all right. So she's got some big, beautiful eggs here, but I'm definitely gonna have to be a little bit careful because she wants to bite for sure. So I'm just gonna, whoo, come on girl, it's all right. Just slowly unwind her. She's just being a good mama. You're a good mom, you're good. Beautiful clutch of eggs. And again, half these eggs will turn out to be albino and half of them will just be het for albino. And look at, whoa, mama. Look at the size of that egg right there. That's a little dinosaur egg. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. It's okay, mama. Whoa, it's okay, mama. It's okay, it's all right. She does not want me to take these eggs, that's for sure. All right, and get these last eggs. And we'll have to separate these eggs out, obviously, because they're a little bit too high. But uh, again, these are pretty fresh, so they're coming apart super, super easy. And you know, albinos are just a cool snake, no matter what. I mean, you never get bored producing albinos. I've told the story before. I bought like the second or third albino ever sold from a guy named Jamie Quick. It was a female, it was $15,000. Now they're like a couple hundred bucks and they are so absolutely amazing. So we have two, four, six, eight beautiful eggs. Again, on average, we should have four albinos, but you know, again, it's an average. We could have six, seven, eight albinos. We could have one or two albinos. You never know. So anyways, we will find out in 57 days. This next clutch is actually a really nice big pastel girl. Looks like she's wrapped around a beautiful clutch of eggs. Woo! Woo, doggy! Look at that clutch of eggs! Oh my gosh, that is really good, girl. You did amazing. Whoa, come on, little monkey. I'm just gonna take these eggs out, get them set aside slowly. Let's see what we got here. Wow, this is a beautiful clutch. And she was bred to a really beautiful male. I'll show you here in a second. It's actually a Mojave Calico Bee. So it could have all kinds of stuff when you add that pastel to it, that's for sure. But this is a load of eggs right here. One last egg to get. Again, it's a Mojave Calico Bee. So again, it's a pastel, it's a spider, it's Mojave, and it's a calico. Now we're adding another layer of pastel. So we could get killer Mojave Calico Bees, all kinds of different stuff. Should be pretty dope when this thing hatches. That's a lot of eggs. Cannot wait to cut this clutch in 57 days. Steph and Lori worked on the sign for in front of the Reptarium for today so that when people come up when we're open, they can actually read it. It just says stop, read below. Gives all the guidelines of what were needed, the state mandates to be able to be open and stuff like that. So uh, it's pretty cool, it looks really good. They did a great job of designing it and getting it here in such a short period of time. That way people just know what they're getting into and that the people that walk up that don't already have tickets to get in won't be surprised when we won't let them in and stuff like that. But uh, I love it. It's uh, We're almost there guys, just a few more hours and 
we're open. Excited, obviously we're open up tonight and I'm still trying to decide exactly what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna wear a mask or one of those visors or whatever. So uh, Camille, someone that supports us and has been to the Repair and hung out with us before, said that she was sending us some special masks that uh, are pretty cool, so uh, here's a little note. While watching the vlog and podcast, I noticed that you guys could use some masks. I hope these work out for you guys. Thank you so much, Camille. Let's just take a look. Oh, these are dope. Look at these. Oh my God, these are cool as heck. So I guess you would have to tie them, right? Oh, and this actually even has my name on it. What's the chance of that? Out of 11 masks, I picked the one that had my name on it. So uh, what do you guys think? I like it. It should be in Mortal Kombat. I know, I, I feel stronger. Yeah. Thank you, this is awesome. I, I might switch back and forth between this and the visor, not sure. But regardless, Camille, thank you so much. These are awesome. What is going on everybody? So uh, I don't know about you guys, but I am excited. It is opening day. Man, I, I couldn't tell you how long I've been waiting for this day. I couldn't tell how long all of us have been waiting for this day. We've been cooped up, like ready to just jump out of this place, ready, ready to have some fun with you guys. So I'm really, really stoked, really, really excited. And actually I got my, my little buddy here, this little mangrove snake. We had attempted to try some uh, larger adult mangroves. So I'm thinking with this more arboreal cage, maybe a little bit more uh, enclosed areas where he can possibly hide a little bit more often might actually be something he likes. So I'm hoping he really, really thrives here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but some of our animals are growing quite a lot. So we've actually moved quite a few animals to some cages and we've even brought some new ambassador animals just like my boy here. And you guys will see us kind of bringing them out over the next couple weeks, couple days. And I'll show you guys all the ones or Brian will show you or whoever we get a chance to. And you, I'm telling you, we've brought some really cool stuff over. I cannot wait to show you. I cannot wait to talk to you guys and learn so much more about these guys. We got some cleaning to do even though it's really fun to play with snakes. I definitely got some stuff to clean, especially a lot of glass. So it's, uh, it's time to get to work. Continuing to try to improvise here to get ready, we actually have little bottles that we can spray this solution that is obviously just for cleaning hands in between stuff like that because you know getting hand sanitizer is really difficult. The problem is is that these little bottles have really, really small holes and it's gonna be really hard to pour that in. So what I did was I took an old bottle here, I cut the top off, and now I can just go ahead and pour it in just like this and I can fill them up like that. And uh, then we can have these all over the place so that everyone can keep their hands nice and sanitary. Sprucing up a lot of cages today because tonight is our open. I'm so excited. I haven't seen anyone besides Bruce and the crew for about two months. This girl right is a little bit angry at me. She's like flicking her tail. You can see that back there. But uh, she's one of our new animal ambassadors. She's gonna go right here and loves to nips old cage. Awesome. But yeah, I'm just excited to, for you guys to come and see all of our new animal ambassadors and then uh, see all of your old friends as well. One of the things that's really interesting, Lucy is just one of a lot of animals in here that it's almost like they sense something's going on. Maybe it's that we're just doing more work and there's more people in here today. I'm not sure, but a lot of the animals, Ivy, Lucy, Bella, they've been more active today. They've been around a lot more than used to. And uh, Lucy is all over the place. It's crazy. Like, I'm not sure exactly what she's thinking, but uh, it's just weird. Uh, I don't know if they know what's going on or they just sense something is changing, but uh, it's pretty interesting. Lucy's looking amazing. Uh, the guys did such a good job. I mean, Bruce and Jessica just killed it. They worked so hard last night getting things ready. I mean, look at some of the new enclosures here that have new animals. This actually has a mangrove snake in it. First time that we have a mangrove on. Well, in the very beginning, we had a mangrove snake. It didn't work out, so uh, we pulled it off. Now we have another one on. Every single dart frog tank got redone by Jessica. She, like I said, she absolutely smoked it. It's cool because we do have some new animals. Of course, Bella is gonna be so happy to have people again, right, baby girl? Oh my God, she is gonna be so happy. She's gonna get so much attention. 
attention. Again, every frog tank. We now have a Chinese beauty snake in the Reptarium. We have never had that before. So a bunch of new animals, including this one over here, which is pretty cool. This is actually a false water cobra. It's uh, way in the back over there looking good. Of course, we've got and all these cases. I mean, I tell you what, these guys, uh, they did such a good job of making the place look sparkling new. I mean, really, it looks better than ever. Oh, by the way, Pickles is over here now. Pickles got a new enclosure over here, so it looks a little bit different. Uh, mossy frogs, waterfalls working, everything. I mean, it's, it's awesome. So we're literally moments away from opening up, and uh, wow, the anxiety is still there, but it's exciting, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of emotions today. I'm gonna be totally honest with you, but uh, the place is looking amazing. So literally, we're minutes away uh, from opening. I mean, it seems like it's been forever. I mean, am I the only one that's like stressing out? <laughs> no, honestly, I think we all are. We're all so out of practice right now. It almost feels like this is the first time we've ever yeah. been open. So it literally, I was saying that like literally our two grand openings, this almost feels like more nervous than that. It's so weird. And it's not like we're even, the first ones were like, we don't know how many people are gonna show up. We know exactly how many people are gonna show up because we're sold out tonight. Uh, so, um, but you're excited? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really great to get back in the swing of things, and uh, I think people are excited, we're excited, and uh, it's about time for us to get back to normal. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Like I mentioned, you know, things aren't gonna be back to normal. I mean, you know, hopefully they will be soon, but uh, you know, I love this mask, by the way. Uh, also, you know, the fact is, I like people to see me smile. Uh, I, I want them to see my face expression, so we've got these two. So I think that at least in the beginning, I'm gonna go with this one, but I'll maybe alternate back and forth because this isn't the most comfortable all the time either. So uh, I'll just see how the day goes. But uh, unfortunately, this is just our new reality for the time being. We have to keep our patrons safe. We have to keep our crew safe, our animals safe, stuff like that. So uh, it will feel a little weird, but uh, we have to get used to it. All right, guys, we're about to open up. Jay, I don't think that's the way you're supposed to wear it. Just, just yeah, so it's you working. Yeah, it's working perfect. Uh, first off, you guys, I, I, you guys, killed the place. Jessica Bruce, you guys worked so hard. The place looks better than it's ever looked. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Olivia, for that. Uh, thank you, Beth, for dealing with things. Thank you, Laura. You guys are amazing. Uh, I know this is going to be weird. Let's try to have the best we could do. Let's just have fun. It's amazing that it's uh, finally time. So, again, just make sure, let's play it safe. People have masks in between animals, disinfect, and so on like that. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, just holler at us and, uh, I've got goosebumps, so let's just go ahead and open up, all right? Like all right. Pops, I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're out. They're out here. <laughs> you and me. All right, we got this today. All right, it is game time. What time is it? Game time, that's right. All right, so you get yourself hydrated, get yourself ready to rock and roll. We're gonna have some fun tonight. We're gonna enjoy ourselves, and you're not gonna bite anybody, right? Like, you kind of look like you're about to bite me now. Please don't bite me. Just a few people have kind of lined up. Again, we can only have 10 people an hour. So uh, I think one of the hardest things is gonna be missing that opening the doors and then shaking that long line of hands that I always shake. Uh, don't get me wrong, uh, there's still gonna be 10 people, but uh, I can't shake people's hands today, it's just not right. So that's gonna be something that's hard, but uh, Lori, let's go, uh, let's go check people in and let's get this show on the road. Hey, it's official, we're opening up. And before we open up, I wanna give you guys the rundown. I mean, basically what you see is different colored wristbands for different hours. This is gonna be four to five, and then it changes to the next hour, the next hour, the next hour. People that bought multiple hours will get multiple wristbands. Uh, that way we know at the end of the hour that the red bands are out and the green bands are in, that type of thing. So uh, pretty as simple as we possibly can make it. So uh, let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do this! Hey guys, how are you? Good to see you guys. How are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, hey guys, how are you? It's so good to see you guys. Good to see you. Awesome. Are you guys going? So there it is, guys. That's our first 10? Uh, no, we got two more that we we're got, waiting for. Got two but, more we're waiting for, yeah. and, uh, and then we're good to go. So, uh, wow. okay, good there stuff.
few hours into the night, and uh, I got to be honest with you, it is, um, you know, I had a couple dreams about what it was going to be like when people were back at the Reptarium, and it's, um, it's just surreal, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's, I can't even express, I literally was shaking the first hour and a half, uh, just with emotion, you know, and uh, it's, it's, it's cool, you know, there's, just a handful of people here. Uh, it's so different than before, as far as the fact that we're like looking to take animals out, and we're uh, we're really into, it's. But it's so fun. This is a great way to ease into this kind of reopening, and uh, it's been amazing. Everyone's been so excited to be here. I'm excited to see people. The animals are definitely acting different today, so it is absolutely incredible. And so we have a couple more groups coming in, and then we're going to wrap up the first day of the open of Reptarium. It's a it's a it's a start, and I am so happy. So we're having an absolutely amazing time here tonight. Uh, it's awesome to see people coming in. You guys are from Muskegon, yes, sir. which is quite a distance away. Uh, so I'm so happy that they're coming in and you had a chance to, to handle Perdita, which is awesome. Yes. Huh? Is She's a huge fan. Time? Yeah, we're having a blast. Love right, everything. Well, love Thanks it. for having us out. Tonight, all right? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good. All right. Well, let's get back here. It's going to be a blast. Guys, the end of the first day that we're open. I mean, uh, what an emotional roller coaster. I am so grateful that we got this day. Is it what we want completely? No, but it's a start and I am so happy about it. If you enjoyed this video, here is an entire playlist of all the Reptarium stuff that you can actually check out. If you could please support my podcast channel, right up here you can subscribe, it's called Checking In. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog channel. Thank you so much, have a wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.